Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Wonpra Bavari and I want to say thank you, first of all thank you to all of you for being so responsive to this series, I'm having fun, I hope that you're also having fun, and then in particular, thank you to the person that pointed out that even after all these thousands of hours that I've spent in this game, I didn't know that if I pressed control and left click I could do this. Isn't this amazing? Good lord, thank you so much again to that viewer that told me about this. Now what we're going to do hopefully today, is we're going to revolt against Zeringen, which is our liege lord, uh, Herzog Hermann. Now, we can't revolt right now because he is quite significantly stronger than we are. What I would love to do, however, is get him killed. You know, there is a part of me that also says maybe you want to kidnap him, but, you know, if we can kill him, I mean, why wouldn't we? And of course, Graf uh, Bonifacio here himself is not necessarily no, an evil person. He's not deceitful or anything. However, he is a flamboyant schemer, so I think that he does have an ambition to get rid of his people without a war. And if we were to kill good old Herzog Hermann, his realm would be split between the two sons, or, you know, some of these sons anyway, that he has. So, Zeringen would go to Etichel, which is his primary heir. And would have Dietard, which is the secondary heir. He gets Steiermark. Oh god, I gotta sneeze one more. Oh god. Nope, don't got it. Oh, that was terrible. All right, I'm back. Uh, Verona goes to Etichel as well, so Zeringen splits, and then we have good old uh, Herzogtum Kärnten that goes to Volkrad. So we we would then have a diminished liege that would by far, you know, first of all, he's a kid, but second of all, he's just not all that powerful anymore. I'm going to spend some money to make this happen. You know, sometimes you got to do whatever you got to do. We got a lot of plot power already, though. Do I have to invite you manually, really? Do I really have to invite all of these manually? Dude, the sneeze is coming back up again, I just want to mention that, and it's terrorizing my nose as I'm speaking. There you go. Let's get rid of him. Uberto, you are my youngest son. No, not my youngest son. You are the middle son, the middle child. Usually a bit disregarded in terms of education, let's be honest here. But we are the one educating him, and I don't know that we should actually do this. I think I'm gonna... Let him be educated either by somebody from my realm or by my wife. My daughter-in-law, you are my wife. I mean, look, she's not wonderful as a ruler or, you know, as a, as a stats person, but I think we have to do something nice for our wife. She loves his son, evidently, so I'm gonna give her the privilege of educating him. And she is educated as a soldier, so maybe she can take care of him to a greater degree there. Look, I kind of doubt it, okay? But I'm gonna teach him about pride. She is the queen. Or, you know, she is uh, related to the Kingdom of France here. Roi Léon. What's their succession law? Agnetic primogenitor. Uh, primogenitor. So she couldn't inherit there, but, you know, it's not necessary. We're now opposed. That's okay. My co-conspirator, Herzog Ottokar, has hired someone to... to saw through the supports of the railing on a balcony Herzog Hermann is known to frequent. Someone may soon take a bit of a tumble. Let's do it. Hey God, failure. At least he's clueless as to who deserves the blame for this. Well, he didn't fall, but you know, he doesn't realize that it's us that did it. I can't give away, somebody pointed that out, but I can't give away any of my holding, primarily because if we do that, then it's, in, you know, it's not related to us. We want to become the Duke of this land, and we have to become the Duke of this land by keeping all of it under our own supervision. Could I get anybody else for cheap here? Why are you, why are these not invited? What the hell? It's just not doing it. So I have to invite him manually, I suppose. That's a bit of a hassle, but... Minus 42%, excuse you. That doesn't... You know what, I'm gonna invite him. If we go down by minus 42%... No, we didn't go down. I don't know what that means, but, you know, I'm gonna take it, hey. Alright, let's plan the murder again. It has come to my attention that you are the leader of the plot to kill Herzog Ahaman the Alemanisch. Uh, I find this most fascinating, and I bet that others would too. I suspect that you wish to keep this a secret, but my silence comes with a prize. I can't have him find out, because the Kaiser would hate it, our Lord would hate it, but it is a disgrace that the Lombards are betray uh, betraying us like this. Oh, and they have become the Lords of Sardinia. That is incredibly powerful. I'm frankly quite worried about it. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this one bit. Interesting. Matilda. At least she's an Italian, but she definitely gets in the way of our ambitions. I will pay him off. Look, Herzog Rodolfo, I hate you. And I will make you fear me, but I will pay uh, pay you off. And Emma has be uh, become pregnant yet again. Very nice. 
If the plot succeeds, we have a good chance of becoming independent. My wife Emma asked me to buy her some new clothes. Right, we've had this before. I'm just going to tell her you are beautiful the way you are. You don't need new clothes. Come on, get rid of him. I need it. Low domain centralization, that's okay. It is good tradition to have some gossips around a pregnant woman in order to keep her calm and distracted from the tribulations of this delicate time in her life. As Emma's husband, it is my duty to provide her with the support she needs. Sure. I'll aid her. She's been a good wife so far, hasn't she? Oh, what did he- what did she just do? She created Luca. I see. Hmm. A daughter was born to Grafo Beneficia. Okay, we have a daughter. Quite nice. She's also attractive. Interesting that we already know this. I'm of course going to have her be educated by her mother. I think that is only appropriate. There you go. He has become a good diplomat. Why is he betrothed to Alba? Who? Oh, that is the one with the with the claim. I hope Sardinia doesn't push it, but I doubt it. I really do. It should not be hard to smear Herzog Odol for given his cruel disposition. Everybody needs to be reminded of his ruthless attitude. He is a most disgraceful Herzog. He surely is, yeah, I agree. It looks like Herzog Rodolfo is exclusively concerned with preventing the rumors I spread about him from in any way re jeopardizing his legitimacy. He seems to perceive my tech more as an annoyance than the grievous insult I intended. Well, let's keep it up. We can make that dude very angry. Right, you can marry. The claimant is now over in a different land, and I think in the near future we're going to have to close the gates, which is a bit of an issue. What sickness is this, anyway? Ooh. Smallpox in the entirety of Venice here, of the Venetian region. Uh, Herriro Luitolfo expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. Mm. I don't know about that. He's an amazing steward, but I think our steward is already uh, an important vassal, and indeed he is. What else are you good at? Nothing, really. I don't think we need you, mate. Sorry to tell you. My apologies. The sickness isn't really spreading to us, but I'm still very worried. Come on, I just need... I need the Herzog to pass away. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. If we don't get it done, then we are in a bit of trouble. Because we're going to lose at least two of our titles. Herzog Rodolfo of Milano has declared Herzog Rodolfo of Milano's war to revoke Pavia. Hmm, interesting. So he's pushing for his own... Gain. I received news that my lover is pregnant. Very nice. Oh, she got remarried. Ah, he died. Died of compli uh, complications related to gout. She also has a fever. I don't know if she's going to survive the... Yeah, she's slow fever. I don't know if she's going to survive the parenthood, though. I will not become yours. I probably should have become a steward, but I hate him. Let's not worry about him. My people have been watching Herzog Hermann of Zeringen for some time now, and we've acquired enough knowledge of his comings and goings to help you plot against him. With luck, my information will see us to, succe uh, su to success. That is super cool. I've never seen this before. He aids us. You know what? You're okay. The Bavarians, yet again, I mean technically Austrian, but culturally speaking, he is Bavarian. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it a great deal. You know what? Ottokar, you are okay in my book. Let's improve our relationship with him, make him like us a bit more. It seems that Landgraf Cosma of Hessen, the spymaster of Kaiser Heinrich III of the Heiliges Römisches Reich, has been sent to Hanau to investigate rumors of a plot. Maybe he should be silenced before he finds out about my plot to kill Herzog Hermann the Alemannisch. Hmm. The Lord of Hessen. Let's try it. You know, he's a German. I have received word from my co-conspirator Herzog Gottfried IV. Ooh, that's a powerful one. Uh, that the bowmen are in place and waiting for the right moment to strike at Herzog Hermann. Please do it. She thinks my dalliance, and he thinks that his... <laughs> oh, that's really good. I think this one is also ours. Yeah, he is. Success! Herzog Hermann has caught in, uh, was caught in a deadly uh, arrow crossfire between the scroll dep uh, depository and a grassy knoll. A story we want, uh, concocted about a lone bowman seems to be working perfectly. And as you can see now, the Steiermark is independent. Zeringen has lost so much influence, and it is Herzog Etichio that is now ruling over us. Now, I don't think you want to see his death, because it would just go to Herzog Diethard. Would it? Sie oh, it would actually split yet again. If we can see this through. One less threat to the establishment in Italy. If we can see this through, 
We would have utterly, utterly destroyed the dynasty of von Zeringen. We have given them what they deserve for suppressing us here in the south. Ah, and here's a son. Is that his first son? No, absolutely not. No, it is his first son. He had two daughters and now one son. But look at this. This is this is absolutely gorgeous. If we can push this through as well, Zeringen has no claim, no stake on our lands anymore. I was fed up with the courtiers constant nagging about a, de a decrepit bridge in need to of fixing and decided to inspect it myself. I'm being murdered. Show me the bridge. If I had not trusted Pietro, I wouldn't be alive. I was hanging from the broken edge of the bridge with my one hand and the other was firmly held by Pietro. The bridge was about to break when he told me to let go of the bridge and as I did that he pulled me up into the bridge, onto the bridge and saved me. Thank God for Pietro. Who did this? First of all, Valeria. Stop the plotting. Thank you. He just saved my life. Is it the Germans that are coming back to haunt us? I wish they dare not. I am thinking of a good way to sway Herzog Ottokar into liking me a bit more. An ally, see, an ally across the Alps would be of a greater help if he respected our lordship over the south. What could possibly tit uh, titillate the senses of a man like him, I wonder. I would send him a few courtesans. That doesn't seem fitting. This doesn't sound like a good idea at all. He doesn't look like a man that would go out with different women outside of his marriage. Oh, but he doesn't have a child. Interesting. He's all alone in the world, isn't he? His family broken apart. Herzog Etichel. If I can get rid of him, then we would be beautiful, uh, in a beautiful spot. My faction supporters are prepared to overthrow our liege, Herzog Etichel. Shall we refuse our rightful demand that the tax and levy obligations placed on Seringsen's feudal, uh, feudal vassals will be reduced? I ask that you either stand at our side now or stand aside should civil war prove necessary. So who are you? A German. I will not stand against him in this circumstance because I need him to be gone. I care not for your civil war. And he just declared... No, that's against Julius. That's something else. My wife Emma is pregnant. Very, very nice. What is this? Call to arms. The faction is ready to rise up. Oh, it's the elective succession faction. Now, we could go through with this, but I don't feel... I wish I could have a... Now, I, all I want is one faction for Verona. You know what I would love to do, though? I'm going to go with the tradition faction here. Because as I see it, in the tradition faction, we'll be incredibly powerful. I can't call a meeting because I'm alone. Well, that's okay. I need Zeringen to go. He needs to pass away. And I'm going to give you some money and then invite you. Need to get rid of all of them. Why are you not joining the plot, please? It's a deuce, Virginia. Come on, I just need the event. And then the Germans would have been ousted. Perhaps it is time I asked Herzog Ottokar to spend some time with me. It is probably the fastest way for me to gain his trust. Absolutely. Ottokar was happy to oblige me. Now that I have some time to spend with him, I am confident that I can convince him of how alike we are and that he stands only to gain from our friendship. Spend a few days with Herzog Ottokar trying to convince your guest of your good intentions. I think these days have really helped me getting Ottokar to know and appreciate me better. We spend most of our time visiting my domain, discussing uh, of the most disparate topics. Disparate topics. I hope you enjoyed our frugal dining uh, dinners. I hope you found the entertaining to your liking. I hope you liked your time here. Now we're gonna go with the uh, temperate trait. There you go. Oh, he has a claim on Steiermark and Kent. Oh wait, that's him. Mm. Someone was born. Another son. We really need to get that duchy title. It has been some time. Oh, let's invite the faction members. I am so ready. I'm glad that he would be better than Stuart Wright. You know what? I'm going to give the old Stuart a chance. And I'm also actually going to get rid of the elective succession faction there. He will give us what we want or we will face Silver War. Maybe I can kill him in a battle. Oh, and he can't give us anything. Really. <laughs> oh, that's just amazing. I mean, I think I could just declare war for independence here and we would win. When... Hmm... We're not as strong enough. We're not going to do anything. Pomerjani has converted, so we now have the Pomeran, uh, Pomeranian kingdom as a good old Christian. I was, oh, and I forgot about my children, Irida. You are being brought up by him, so become a diplomat. A diplomat, very. Thank you very much. And you, I shall bring up as my own. You will learn about uh, what about rift. Not that I'm an expert in that, but it is still very important. And here we go. Like his father, he shall die 
He's done. He's gone. And just like that, we've dealt. We have. We've done it. Where's my liege? You. Where? Where is he? Just up there. Easy. And now we declare war, and we utterly, utterly crush him. I wish there was just an independence faction, but there is not. Hey, my friend. Four years old. I declare war on you for independence. And up we go. Now is the time to crush our foes. To show them who the true masters are. We have destroyed the von Zeringen dynasty. They are nothing but a shadow of themselves. Of course, they have united their northern lands again, but their south... Practically gone. Now let's go get him over here. I don't even know where, like, I don't care where we fight him. I just know we need to fight him. Now he's locked in. I might as well go for that. Yeah, that's an easy victory. You want to become the new leader. You know what? I rule you. You don't you don't get to decide who becomes my steward. Let's siege him out. And you know, I mean I will show them who the master truly is. We got a new Pope as well. We're gonna take care more of the Pope than we have so far once we are, you know, more Italy focused, but I was just really focused on getting out the foreigners here. Recently I've noticed the pitiful state of my son. I've just been informed that the cause of his aches and fatigue is a case of the flu. Call the court physician, yeah. I knew that there must be a way to earn her, uh, Herzog Ottergar's trust, and the best way to learn it was without a doubt talking to him. But about what? I'll simply ask him, sure. Herzog Ottergar was more than happy to talk to me about his struggles and aspirations. In fact, he seems to have questions for me as well. That's wonderful. Can we... Oh, he doesn't have a son still. Doesn't even have any brothers. Is he the last of his family? He is. He needs to survive. He really does. Because I would love to have a northern ally that aided us in destroying our enemies. I'm in favor of that. And I'm... We sieged him down. He's done. I am independent. I rule in Verona. Now the big question that I have is... When it comes to Verona... The request would be denied. Uh, denied. What, what is this? Hmm... Game, please. Are you joking? He just put me back under his vassalship again. Oh my god, dude. I think I can just dissolve him over here. Right, yeah. Oh, uh, AI, please. I literally just struggled for independence. And you're gonna do this to me? And now I have a truce with him? Oh, game. You know what I gotta do. Give me the claim. I desire the claim of Verona. I will not be- No. Screw you, kid. Oh, this sucks ass. So we revolted easily, you know, we can do this again, there's no doubt about it, but let me tell you, that sucks ass. We, we should have easily been done uh, with the entire, you know, northern kind of storyline. Oh, thank you. And now we already have a claim on it. And I can't start a faction. <laughs> And it's just the county! This sucks ass. But I think I want to break it, right? Because it's 10 years. I want to claim Baden. What's he gonna do? He's gonna be gone. Everybody's gonna hate me a bit, but I'm gonna do it. Cardinal Mario expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. His contribution to the realm is significant. Is it though? It, it really isn't, you know? Could make him a court chaplain, but you know what? We don't actually need you, mate. I'm gonna declare war on him. Yeah, I mean, I already did. I declare war without realizing it. Everybody hates me a bit for that, but you know what? Screw it. Screw you, buddy. I'm gonna take your land, I'm gonna kick you out, and I'm gonna be done with it for good. Patrician Dedice of uh, Galadeska, the husband of my lover Valeria, shocked me by asking me to my face if we're having an affair. Hmm. The Toscano Jester, I will kill him. This is... Exactly what this is. I will go through with this if, you know, it means that you will, uh... If you're threatening me, I will get rid of you. It's hurt badly. He wasn't hurt badly at all. I got hurt, but that's okay. Patrician uh, Didicia hired spies to observe me and his wife Valeria. They uncovered our love affair and the miserly jester has chosen to expose our adultery to the public. Well, it's your choice, not mine. 
All right, with us taking this land, we should also be good to go. It, it is, I hate it though, I will be honest with you. Uberto, you're obviously going to be educated in etiquette. Quite important if you ask me. The Siege of Hohenbaden is over, and I shall put him in irons, because this war is over. There you go. Alright, and now I can create the Markgrafschaft of Verona. That was a bit of a roundabout way, I will tell you. You know, it kind of annoys me, but it is what it is, and we did succeed, didn't we? Are they rebelling against him? What is this? Why is the color so, so different? No, oh, okay, it was just, you know, don't worry about it. We now hold Verona, meaning that I can hand it out. Our, you know, laws obviously make it so that we will split apart. So I think I will give this land up there to uh, a gold vassal. Maybe, do we have a friend? We have lovers, but that is about it. I could, you know, those are the people of France. I can't really give them anything. But I'm going to give a good ruler that I like, you know, that agrees with me. Not in the realm, I mean search vassals. He's excommunicated. I'm not going to give him anything. That's just lunacy. Arden would go to Uberto, so you know what, Uberto, I shall give it to you right now. Now, that is obviously not the smartest choice, because, you know, usually you want to keep everything together and not empower the people that will become claimants to your land, but I'm going to do it nonetheless. You know, I'm an honorable man, and I shall take care of this uh, the way honor demands. Now, another title that will fall away will be Vicenza and Treviso. I will give away Treviso to the other son here, Elio. And uh, our last son can wait. He's gonna inherit it all after all. I'm gonna give you Treviso. There you go. And now only Vicenzo. Uh, Vicenza is still in our hand, but we're down to three out of three, so this is quite nice. Hmm, I will put you on the council. He still kinda hates me. Is this my spy master? No, the court chaplain. Whatever, dude. And we have become a duke. Mark Graf Bonifacio of Verona. And with that, we are, of course quite a bit more powerful than we were beforehand. Our, you know, everything in here is going to come up again. The Lords of the have approved the institution of the Low Feudal Obligations Law. According to Chancellor Camelo, the peasants, we've already seen this actually, skip it, thank you very much. Making a decent amount of money now every month as well. I know that there's, what is this, my attempts to sway Ottokar have not been in vain. I'm slowly but surely winning over the man's friendship, very nice. I know that there must be a way to earn Herzog's Ottokar's trust, and the best way to learn uh, to learn it is without a doubt talking to him. But about what? Why do you not- why not getting your wife pregnant, mate? I will simply ask it. Sure, let's ask him. Disgraceful, he didn't like it. You know, he, he dislikes us a bit, of course, because we broke the truce there. It's- it's a pain. I wish I hadn't to do it. The, you know, the game demanded it. I didn't want to wait for 10 years because we might split our lands if that were to be the case. It is still disappointing, of course. Now, all of these rules, I don't think we need to change. That is perfectly fine. I would love to change the succession law if the possibi uh, possibility arose. Do we need any further claims? Ah. Do I, do I dare go against the church? We're not a very pious man, are we? Maybe. If we can get a claim, then we shall do it. But until then, let's just get some research here. We do have a decent amount. Look at this mad power, it's great. Having many lovers is exciting and fulfilling. So much love, so much desire, but so little time. I feel like I'm burning the candle at both ends. Hmm. I think we want to break up with Valeria. Because our love is known. So let's break up with her. You know, it's, it's... I hate doing it, but, you know. I will try to seduce Matilda. I shall bring all of my seduction skills to bear on Kuning and Matilda until I have her wrapped around my finger. If we have the Lady of Sardinia wrapped around her finger, we would greatly benefit from everything coming thereafter. Now, I don't know about this, the kingdom will not split, they will keep all of this together even beyond her death. It makes for quite the major opponent of our plans here in Italy because they will be able to keep it all together. I wish that we would be in a stronger position. What is going on in the rest of the world? Aquitaine is, of course, holding together. Norway appears to be the dominating factor, but they are being sieged down. By No, Sweden is actually destroying them. Claim on Herr Yaldre. Where's this? This one. So they're going for one county there. We have the Vasilier Romayon, of course, still holding it together, being fairly strong. The Seljuks... Oh my, oh my, the Seljuks are strong, but they have some very strong separate rulers underneath them. Persia has its own 
king underneath, and they are both Seljuks the way I see it. The Fatimids are holding it together, the uh, Almoravids, uh, Almoravids is the actual turn, are also holding it together, but the Alabids, Al Al Abadi, Al Abadis are also holding it fairly well together there. It's it's honestly the Iberian Peninsula looks very interesting because nobody's too strong there. Everything's going well. India currently under the control of uh, Paramara. I think that's the word, yeah? Paramara. They have the blood of Boya. What is this? A renowned scholar king of Malwa. Having subdued uh, the neighboring Hindu rulers, Boya turned the Paramara dynasty into a major power in northern India. Very nice. Good job. The world honestly looks very believable so far. I, I like it. Hmm. Yeah, we need, we need some claims here. The response from Kurigin Matilda, the Zelda, wasn't quite what I expected. Ah, she doesn't like us, does she? You know who I don't like? Wait, you're already somebody else. Yeah, I hated this dude. Severe stress. Hmm, I don't hate him. He's okay, you know, he's just another Lombard Lord. Let's take a, a look at this faction system here. I kind of want to go for independence, but we are clearly not powerful enough to do it. I think we're going to just join the tradition faction as well. Oh, and we already get a claim. I'm going to go into the negatives here for a second, of course. We can easily beat the bishop over here and then march on into the east. You know, taking over all of our good old Venetian home. Making it quite clear who is the dominating force. He doesn't have any friends, he doesn't have any allies, he doesn't... Have a force strong enough to truly oppose us. So let's just go for the claim on Aquilia. We're making big strides ahead right now. I love that we actually have like an intermediary enemy here in Sardinia. And even if we deal with them, we still have the Kaiser as an enemy. If we could kind of band together with Sardinia, I would do it. Well, let me tell... Let me talk about this. My grandson. No. Uh, ah, is she the direct? What, what's your inheritance law? Ecola? Are you the heir to anything? Doesn't appear. It's all agnatic, cognatic, but since she has sons... Hmm, so she won't take it. What about... Because I do want to play the marriage game, right? You know, what we're going to do is we're going to finish the war here. In the next episode, we are going to try to weave a web of marriage. Lothringen has died. Interesting. What happened to you now? Why don't you come back? Can I invite you back? Mm. I guess her son, which is my son, her son is now ruling. Oh my, my bastard on the throne. Oh, at least partially on the throne. I see how it is. Let's win this war. In the next episode, we're going to weave a web of intrigue and marriage in all of Italy so that we shall take it over. We have a lot of kids, we can definitely pull that off, I think. And I'm going to take the penalty here, by the way, I think that's fair. And we can definitely achieve victory there. Where are you going, to Este? Let's destroy him here. Fingers of St. John the Baptist, discount prices for boxes of 10. A bishop brings to your attention that false relics are being sold at the market at great profits. They do, of course, generate a lot of commerce and taxes, but still, it's rather immoral and blasphemous. Well, I'm not really... I don't really care for that, do I? Hmm. Get in on the business. That sounds about right. Sure. Let's get in on the business there. Ten bucks. Easy. Right, we defeated them quite clearly. Verona is prospering. Very nice. We also have another child to be educated. As you, yeah, there you go. And let's take him out. We take him out and then we move on. Maybe even to take you out. I think we are on a really good way. The question just... That we need to answer is how do we continue about bringing the Italians together? And let's let's spend some time with him. I, should, I do still want to get to know him. Ezogotica was more than happy to talk to me about his struggles and aspirations. In fact, he seems to have questions for me as well. I don't even think. Oh, this is going to be tough. Three months. Oh, we can. We should be able to do it here. So we're going to have the king's piece or the kaiser's piece. Oh. Wow, she stopped the Kaiser's piece from actually unfolding. So we don't have to worry about that at all. The thing is, I do not believe that I'm gonna go ahead and... Um, I'm gonna like take this from him, he's a madman anyway, but I think I'm gonna give it back to the church so that the Pope won't, you know, hate us. 
There you go, Aquilia is underneath us now. We hold both of these. But as I said, I think we want to give it back to the church. Having a church vassal, honestly, a pretty good idea. I'm going to be straightforward with you. It's, it's not a terrible idea. Do we have a good church man here? Yeah, Orlando. Sounds alright to me. I'm going to give you Aquilia. And now he is a prince bishop and our vassal. Very, very nice. I will see you in the next episode. Look at us. Verona is prospering. And now it is kind of on our uh, on our choice here to duke it out between Verona, Sardinia, Milano, Savoy. And those are the major factions south of the Elbe. We banished the Germans up north. We even took land for ourselves. Isn't that beautiful? I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and see you later. Alligator.